Another thing that we found out on Friday evening at Atkinson Church was that uh, pimping a girl on the local prostitution of kids, <laughs> uh, the breaking in period for making a, a regular kid into a prostitute is just about exactly the same as it is in India. So what I'm about to tell you, and Nepal, is very dark, and please forgive me if it's too hard to hear. So when a girl is trafficked, that means the man who's selling her takes her by car usually or in some form by bus, um, take, telling her that he's taking her to have a new job and a new family and a new life. And he takes her, for example, into Falkland Road. I've been in Falkland Road in the brothels. And he goes to the madam or the garvali and he says, and here's the latest one. She gives him money. She takes the girl into the house. The door is locked and the kid never leaves. And uh, the, the scene of Falkland Road is something out of hell. It's a slice of hell. And you see men driving down the street in taxis or walking or truck drivers. And on the, the outside, it's about, a, I think, a, a square half mile of the buildings are girls in cages exposing themselves or in very revealing costumes and making obscene gestures to the men to come in and buy. And uh, a man can buy time with a girl for very little money and uh, she services between 19 and 20 guys a day. The little girl becomes a machine and to look in their faces is appalling because there's nobody home. Their eyes are like sharks, dead eyes. You look in their heart, they have no heart. The only comfort they have is a makeup box that they carry with them. It has their makeup and their little fineries and their little tikas and things. And the thing that saves them is each other. They're there for each other. They talk to each other. They try to help each other to stay whole and human. They really work hard at that. And they hope that someday a man will come in who will fall in love with them and take them away. That is their hope. Well, they keep them working. And so they work them until the girl is pretty far gone with AIDS. Used to be they'd get rid of them. So Gita, the girl that I told you about, was just HIV positive, but of course had no recourse to medicine for quite a long time. But most of the girls, they keep working until they're very, very ill, and then they just throw them in the slums. I went into the slums also, which look kind of like Slumdog Millionaire. Um, they're very bad. And uh, I met a saint there in the slums. So uh, my people and I went into this slum and we went up to this woman that we'd heard about her. And she was a little Nepali woman, maybe she was about 30, and she had full-blown AIDS. She uh, was uh, trafficked in and she, when she was a virgin and she was 12 to what they call the life. And the owner of the brothel fell for her and he had four other wives. And he said, I'll set you up in an apartment. You can have servants, but you can't get pregnant. If you get pregnant, you're out of here. Well, she got pregnant, and she refused to give up the baby. She had the baby, and he put her in the slums. So she had the baby. She was a loving person, and she decided what she could do was start a crash taking care of the babies of prostitutes. She said, I am going to die. I know I don't have long. What I can do is love these babies. I mean, Mother Teresa couldn't have been any better than that. So you see stories of hope, but the thing is to avert the tragedy before it happens. And if it does happen now, through the girls that Aruna has brought back from Mumbai, they have medicine and they're giving them job education and hope.